Hey everyone, this is your five minute daily devotional. Today's scripture verse is coming from 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 10. It reads as follows. That is why for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, in insults and in hardships and persecutions and difficulties. For when I am weak, that I am strong. So there was this one day where I was utterly and completely and totally 100% over it. I mean, all of it. There was a lot of stuff going on at work and it wasn't just me, just everybody was tired of it, over it, just stressed out. I just sort of received some disappointing news and I was sort of kind of still dealing with that and still kind of bummed about it. I wasn't kind of feeling great physically and that was just kind of hampering everything else. I was just sort of over it. Has anybody else ever experienced that? <laughs> I sat at my desk and just kind of spoke with God in my mind and I'm not sure if I started it or if God started it, but God finished it. It was incredible. I had this mind picture with the Lord. I was Again, I was very tired and I was just kind of thinking to the Lord, you know, I'm just tired, Lord. I'm just kind of over it. I was mainly talking about work, but I was like, I'm just kind of over it. I don't feel like dealing with this anymore. This is just kind of a lot. And then all of a sudden I kind of saw myself in this boxing ring and I was sitting in the corner, in the boxing corner on that little boxer stool. And there was this angel in front of me trying to encourage me and like get me going and get me going, you know, help me up. Sort of like when they do, they're like, you know, giving you the water from the squirt bottle and they're saying all these things to kind of help you in the fight. And I was just kind of not having any of it. I didn't want to get back in there. I was sort of done with it. I had this little white flag and I just kind of raised the little white flag and I, you know, waved it in surrender and I was done. Now remember, all of this is kind of like a mind picture, almost like a vision that I'm having with the Lord. When I waved that little, you know, white flag, out from behind me came Jesus. He steps through the boxing ring, kind of in between the two ropes, like they step through the boxing ring and he is wearing boxing shorts and he's got his boxing gloves and he's like ripped. And he just steps into the ring and just reverberates such power and authority and victory that everything in the ring and everything outside of the ring fall over backwards. I mean, he steps into the ring and he gives me, gets the victory for me without even having to lift a finger. Again, I don't know if I started this thought process or if the Lord started this thought process, but he surely finished it and I was just left speechless. He was reminding me that maybe that's where he wanted me to be, that maybe he wanted me to finally surrender, just kind of let it all go and just let him handle things the way that he wanted to handle things. Let him, you know, do things and, you know, bring things in my life the way that he wanted to. And when I surrendered and when I trusted him, that he would bring me the victory without even having to lift a finger. This is not a hard thing for him. He most certainly will win the victory. Friends, I know that weaknesses and insults and hardships and difficulties, they are not fun. And sometimes when they come at you all at once, it seems to be too much. It can seem to be just overwhelming. And when we read the scripture that when we are weak, then we are made strong, it might not make sense to us at first, but I'm learning that when we are weak, when we finally surrender, when we finally just kind of give it all up and trust the Lord, that is when we are able to tap into the only true strength and power that is available in this world, that is available to us as believers. That is the Lord Jesus Christ, that when we are weak, when we recognize I cannot do this without you, Lord. That is when we have access to his strength, to his power, to who he is. We don't have to be strong in and of ourselves, friends, when we recognize our weakness and our dependency on him and that we are nothing without him, can't do anything without him. That is when he shines best and he gives us the victory in ways we never even thought of. Surrender, friends recognize and tell him that you can't do this without him, that you absolutely need him because that is usually the very moment, the very second that he sweeps in and gives you the victory in ways you weren't expecting, exceeding abundantly above all that you could ask or think. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, it is hard to admit, Lord, that we are weak, that we can't do it, that this is too much for us, God. A lot of us like to think that, you know, yes, I can do this. I, you know, I can handle this. I, you know, I'm capable of doing this. And honestly, that's not where you want us to be, God. You want us to be to a point where we surrender and say, Lord, I can't do this without you. I need you. I need your help. I need your grace. I need you to step in. I need you to take care of the situation. God, help us to get to that point where we surrender. 
where we trust you, where we give it all to you, where we recognize that we really and truly can't do this without you. Because that's usually the time, God, that you come in, God, and you take care of business, God, and you don't even have to do any, anything, Lord. Maybe you want the surrender. Maybe you want the you know realization from us that, yes, we absolutely need you. Because then when we are weak that way, we really are strong. We are strong in our faith. We are strong in our belief that you have this. We are strong in our knowledge of who you are and that with God, nothing is impossible. God, we love you. We thank you that you are our deliverer. You are our rescuer, God, and you have victory in store for the upright. We love you, God, in Jesus' name. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like, and comment on this video. I would appreciate it, and I would love to have you guys. You guys, have a great day. God loves you so much. I love you guys. I appreciate you watching. I will see you next time, and God bless you.